So room temperature, it says, is 25 degrees Celsius. And the kinetic energy average is going to be 3 halves kT. So T, like we said, is 25 degrees Celsius. We've got to put it in Kelvin, so 273. So 298 Kelvin. And K um, <coughs> is equal to R over N A. Okay. So R, remember, is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. This is given to you here. Okay, this will be given to you. Na is Avogadro's number, so 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so let's solve for the average kinetic uh, energy. So 3 halves, I want to think about it that way. So times R, so 8.314 joules per one mole Kelvin um, times 1 over Na. Right? So in that case, um, 1 mole right, is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And if you want to think about it as molecules of hydrogen, you can. Okay, so moles of hydrogen, H2 molecules. Okay. So this mole is canceling out with that mole step. And then times T, 298 Kelvin. So Kelvin is going to cancel with that Kelvin there. Okay, so now we solve for um, kinetic energy average. So three times three one four times two ninety eight divided by 2, divided by 6, 6.022. Okay. And I got this number here, 6.17 times 10 to the negative 21 joules per molecule. Okay, so notice this didn't have anything to do with, in particular, hydrogen. Right? So, what you'll find is the kinetic, average kinetic energy of any gas at 25 degrees Celsius is this amount of energy. Okay? It doesn't matter what the gas is. 